Hey YouTube, so you may notice that we are A, not in my truck, B, not in my apartment, because I got rid of it, C, this is not my house, uh, I know I've talked about a house, and D, if you're guessing hotel room, you are correct. Uh, we are currently in a hotel in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and that is because my truck yesterday decided to blow its injector seals at the top of the motor, and they look like this. This is an injector seal. And this is going to come in. It's going to be important here in a minute. So, um, what have I been doing? I'll give you a quick update. So, after the video I made in Laramie, I took that load to somewhere in Oregon, I think. Or no, up to Washington, I think. And dropped it off. And then I booked something out of there. Did, what was it? What did I do? I booked something that was like two pickups. No, I booked something that was two pickups out of Memphis. So I booked something out of there going to Memphis. I go to Memphis, drop off, book something that's two pickups out of Memphis going to Prescott Valley, uh, uh, Arizona. So I did all that. I've got video of all this too so you guys can see it, but I haven't made the video yet. So it'll come out at some point. Um, or it won't. <laughs> I'm, I'm inconsistent and uh, and everything. So I did the Prescott Valley thing, did a reset down there, picked up a load going to Iowa, and then did another reset in Iowa, went down to Kansas City, picked up the load that I'm currently under, uh, going to Vancouver, Washington. I had a load going back to Omaha, and that was going to get me like 10 8 50 for the week, which is going to be my best week, and everything. And... Um, I was I pulled into the port of entry in Wyoming yesterday because they were checking everybody's paperwork. So I get all my paperwork together, go take it, show it to them, come back out, and there was a a, a puddle of oil underneath the truck between one and a half and two feet long and about six inches to a foot wide, and it just steady drip, steady drip. And I had been fighting wind all day yesterday. It was about a fifty mile an hour wind, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Can't really go all the way to, you know, Oregon like that, so I got on the highway, went one block down, or one stop, one exit down, got back off the highway, <laughs> and I went into the Sat Brothers in Cheyenne to uh, have them look at it, and they finally got me in about 8 o'clock, and uh, pulled in and said, hey, you're, uh, you're leaking diesel out of your injector seals, and, um, I was like, that didn't look like diesel. And so I leaned down. It was all inside the wheel well. And I kind of scooped it up a little bit. And I'm looking at it. It doesn't look like diesel. I'm feeling it. It doesn't feel like diesel. So I taste it. It doesn't taste like diesel. You know. And everything. And I said, well, I, I think that's oil. And they're like, no, no, it's diesel. I was like, so we got to replace the injector seals. So you got to, you know, it's not going to be till tomorrow. Uh, so go pull over there and park or whatever. So which is what I did. And then, um... So I go pull over and park and uh, waited till this morning to come back about 7. So about 7 o'clock, I get up. It's actually about 6 o'clock. I'm dead tired right now. <laughs> I need to go to bed. About 6 o'clock, I, I get up, pull over, drop trailer, pull over to the bay, tell them, hey, I'm here. And they go, uh, I go, okay. So I, they said, hey, just go wait in your truck. So I took the truck and went somewhere else, waited. And about 10 minutes later, they called me and said, hey, come in. So they pull me in and they look at this and they go, hey, your injector seals are leaking. I said, yeah, that's what they said last night. I said, it's diesel, but it don't look like it. He goes, no, it's oil. I was like, okay. So we uh, said, hey, you're going to have to you know, pull it in. And uh, I'll just go back out and wait on us. You know, we'll pull it in here in a little bit. Do the work on it. I said, okay. So I go out. I was out for about 30 minutes. I said, hey, bring it over to Bay, like, 2 or something like that. Or 6, I think is where it, where it went. And, uh. So I pull it in, and I go in and sit down. Dog stays in the truck. And uh, go in and sit down, and they come back. And I say, hey, those injector seals look like, look like they were done recently. I say, yeah, I just had them replaced about a month ago. And he goes, somebody put them in backwards. So what? And I go, somebody put them in backwards. And I thought, are you sure? And he goes, yeah. And uh, I said, okay. And uh, I said, well, let me. I was like, son of a bitch. So let me call the shop talk to them that where I had to work on. So I called the shop and said, Hey, 
up here at Sap Brothers, and they're saying that you guys put the injector seals in backwards, and I got a pretty big oil. Well, there's no way you can't put the injector seals in backwards. If you're mechanically inclined, take a look at that. Now, do you think that a part that is as simple as this could be put in backwards? This is the side that goes against the block. This is the side that goes away from the block. See how it's flat on the side against the block and it's not on the side away from the block. No, 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 there's no way that they, those, it's impossible. It's impossible to put those in backwards. So, well, that's what they're telling me up here. Well, we can't do anything because it's more than 30 days, 30 day warranty, I thought. But you guys screwed up. You did the work wrong. Oh, we just can't help you. So, okay, I'm not gonna fight with you being, you know, a thousand miles away from home. I'll just wait. And uh, so I went back inside and sat down. And I said, hey, have you taken those injector seals off? And he goes, no. I, said, I was just wondering if you had one I could look at. And he goes, yeah. So he goes in, gets this used one, brings it out to me. He says, here you go. You can look at that. And I'm just flipping it over in my fingers. And it's going. <sighs> you could put these on backwards. It would not be that hard. And I said, man, it's it's a... And one of the arguments he had was these bolts are too short. So if you put it in this way, you can see that how far that sticks out. And the bolts are supposed to be too short to bite. Well, yeah, maybe, you know. But if you bend these tabs, <laughs> if you force it, then uh, no. It would not be impossible to do it. And that's what happened. I've got a video of it um, on my Android phone. So... These seals have been put in backwards. If you look, you can see, what does it say right there? Right there. Do you see it? Top. That's the side out. Now, I've found pictures online of how these are supposed to look when they're in. And this side is not supposed to be sticking out. And on my truck, it's sticking out. So, it's in the shop. Getting the oil replaced. And they came to me about 10 o'clock this morning. And they said, hey, this is more than a day job. You're going to have to get a room. So that's why we are at a hotel here in Cheyenne. And uh, they have a bar here, so I went down and drank a little bit. Uh, I just got done taking the dog out. We're gonna get ready to hit the sack because I've been up since six o'clock this morning. And it's 11.30, just about. So I'm gonna drink some water, go to bed, but that's where we're at. That's my update for you. Injector seals. So if you're watching this video, <laughs> And you've ever wondered what the right orientation for injector seals is. This goes against the block on a DD-15 because it may be different on something else. This goes against the block, flat against the block like this. This sticks to the outside. And you, you know, and you zip the, the bolts in right here. So, there you go. That's your lesson for this week. Anyway, we're going to get it done. Get back on the road. So, you guys know the drill. Keep your shades up. See you down the road.